The cities of Broken Bow and Hochitown, Oklahoma, were expecting over 150,000 people in the area to see the 2024 eclipse. Every vendor was expecting big revenue from the crowds. The cities provided extra sanitation facilities to the public, and the National Guard was even in the area for crowd management. Lorianne and I came to the area with food and water for a week. Our gas tank was full. We were self-sufficient and wouldn't need to fight the masses. We planned to stay just at our cabin, come rain or shine. Here we are in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. We're glamping outside. It's just a nice cabin. We're enjoying our time out here. Got the fire going. Great time. Well, here we are checking into our BRBO. It is called the Reindeer Shack. There's a cute little unit here with kitchenette over on that side. Bedroom with a loft for a, a third person or young child or two. And then back here we have washer and dryer. And of course, the bathroom. I better turn the light on. The bathroom. Our first night here, I'm gonna set up the grill and get the charcoal going so we can cook up some chicken. Put on a little bit of Girl Scout water. Don't want to soak them too much, but I need them to be wet. And then, and then, and then we have fire. We'll let those uh, cook up a little bit and get going, and we'll put the chicken on. So the firewood got delivered to the wrong location. So the management company just brought us our firewood. They stacked it up over here. I'm now moving part of it over to there in case we get rain tonight. So while the grill is warming up here, I'm gonna scavenge to get some sticks for the fire pit for later tonight. We got a lot of good wood. Just need ourselves some kindling. Makes me feel like a boy scout again. Fucking sticks and whatever I need. We got a beautiful, huge um, porch with a hot tub and some swings and tape, picnic table. There's also games to play. It's quiet up here. Yes. Nice. It's nice. It's out in the woods. Hopefully, maybe the sky will clear a little bit. We'll see some stars this trip. Yes, yeah. yeah. But tonight we grilled some chicken and had some pasta and green beans. And a little bit later here, we'll roast some marshmallows and S'mores. having the camping experience. Glamping <laughs> experience. What's this for? Do I get to cook them? How's it going there, Todd? Just roasting my marshmallows. Oh! It's that marshmallow. Mm -hmm. There's some more. <laughs> Should we tell some spooky tales? Nice morning. Sitting in the hot tub on our porch. Hey, Todd. I think about you. Hi. How are you doing? We got our fire pit and grill out there. See the toes? <laughs> so here I am in the hot tub, just relaxing after good night's sleep and watching church on TV. All this from our cabin here in Broken Bow. Sunny. Kind of sweet. It's a nice day, mostly sunny and uh, a little wind. It's not too warm yet, but it's supposed to get up maybe into the 80s today. So we're just chilling. Great day out on the porch. We're just chilling and we're just gonna go exploring a little bit, a little bit later, walk around, check out some spots for viewing for tomorrow's eclipse. 
So that's our day so far today. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate every one of you subscribers. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Talk to you later. Well, we're sitting here on our porch out in the woods and we're hearing a bunch of sirens. We just finished eating lunch. Don't know what's going on. Todd's checking his scanner. Checking some Facebook groups. There's quite a few sirens. It's been very quiet. They we looked on the oh on some of the street cams and things like that. There's not very many people around Broken Bow or Hutchitown. Oh, Hutchitown, Hutchitown. Hutchitown. <clears throat> now we and all of a sudden Huchitown. we've heard all these sirens going off. There were helicopters a while ago, but figured those are just looking around. Oh, we're out on a hike. Hopefully going down to find a lake. Hopefully the lake's this way. It's been a nice, quiet day out camping. Or glamping, rather. <laughs> well, the end was a bit anticlimactic, so now we're on our trail back up. So, off we go. So, in Tennessee, we are on a bear hunt, and we didn't see any bear. In Texas, we went on a dolphin watch. We did see some dolphins. And on this trip, we're looking for Sasquatch. Have we seen any Sasquatch, Laurieann? Nope, bear, no bear, on a bear watch. No, well, we saw some dolphin on dolphin watch, but now we're on a Sasquatch watch. Sasquatch hunt. No, Sasquatch Watch. Sasquatch Watch. Where's Mark and Dolores? I know, maybe they would see them. Anyways, this place is known for having Sasquatch festivals and Bigfoot festivals and hunting season down here for Bigfoot. So we're, we're hunting for them. But we're here for mm. the eclipse, so maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow. the eclipse? Yeah, he might come out. Yeah, he'll look at me and say, Yo, Brother Todd, where's your hair? You cleaned up well. You cleaned up well. <laughs> Orianne's been hunting for some really big rocks. Have to bring some rocks home to Calvin. How many rocks are you going to bring home to him? I don't know. There's a big rock for Lorianne. Oh. She's probably going to want me to carry it. Oh, good idea. No. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Next thing you know, our car is going to be full of nothing but rocks. Just like Lucy. Hi, I didn't mean to lie to you, Nikki. And bear watch, we found our little bear. Ha ha ha. Alright, building tonight's fire. We don't have a lot of little stuff to play with here, so I went and collected some kindling earlier. Did you go wander in the woods? I did. I went wandering in the woods and I ended up cutting my foot when I did it. Alright, we got a base down. Put a couple pieces across that way. Then I'm gonna cheat. Watch. Got myself some starter fluid. And douse the middle. See how it goes. Every night we ensured our fire was properly out by drenching it with water. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Todd. Happy birthday to you. April 8th, 2024. Solar eclipse. Can't see the sun, but it's still a great day. It's really neat. Just enough cloud cover breakage so we got some views of it. Hopefully we got some pictures, right? It was cool. <laughs> It was cool.
Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed the taste of charcoal on my cooking this weekend. Almost makes me want to buy another charcoal grill for home. Tonight for my birthday, we're having steaks. They're looking good. A couple more minutes. I don't know how to work this TV. It's always a problem every time we come into a new place. Uh, the channels are all set up different or we're not subscribed to it. For that purpose, this is why we always bring our own fire stick. Most TVs, you have a USB plug that you can use to power your fire stick. But just in case they don't, make certain you bring that uh, power adapter. When you're packing up your fire stick, always pack the battery separate from the remote. The reason is the remote has these little buttons on the outside that when it's packed up, buttons can be pressed and wear out your batteries. Most TVs have multiple USB ports that you can plug your fire adapter into, plus a port to plug the extension into. And uh, you just plug them in, go to your settings on your TV, forget to pack up your fire stick at the end when you leave and take it with you. Otherwise, the person behind you will get a pleasant surprise. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear to me. On the solar eclipse. On the solar eclipse. Day. Day. And many more. Brown steaks and baked potatoes and corn on the cob and Special meal for the birthday boy. Some more for dessert. Ooh. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mwah.